The spectacular Smith River, nestled in the northwestern corner of California, has been designated the Smith River National Recreation Area, also known as the Smith River NRA, and is administered by the USDA Forest Service. As a botanist, I value its purpose, which is to manage for generations the extraordinary natural beauty and biological richness found only here. Let me show you that the beauty of the Smith River NRA lies not only in the deep blue-green waters, but also in the wondrous diversity of plant communities that change like the river, sometimes gracefully, sometimes dramatically. Plants are everywhere, and you can see them, from your car, on foot, on the water, or by mountain bike, however you travel. Remember to tread lightly by leaving wildflowers for others to see. You see, see this flower? This is a yarrow flower, Kevin. And this is one of the nice, nice plants of the wilds uh, because it's a medicinal plant. And you can always remember if you get a burn or you get poison oak or poison ivy or a, a, a sting, you can crush this. Redwoods typically hug the coast. Hardier redwoods found further inland, within the Smith River National Recreation Area, grow in association with a mix of other types of trees. Redwoods, amazingly, can grow to heights unrivaled by any other living organism. And yet, incredibly, they can originate as seeds from small cones. The forest floor is often covered with sword fern and the clover-like redwood sorrel. Rhododendron with bright, showy flowers thrive in the shady conditions, as do the huckleberry shrubs, well known for their small, tasty berries. Lesser known for their commercial value, huckleberry boughs are one of the many special forest products that provide economic benefits while the health of the forest is maintained. You may see these boughs in commercial floral arrangements. Inland lies a very diverse assemblage of plants. The Smith River NRA lies in a region that has one of the greatest varieties of conifer species in the world. Stands of old growth Douglas fir trees tower overhead with beauty and mystery, draped in a wispy lichen called old man's beard. I identify tan oaks by their serrated leaves. It has fuzzy undersides and spiny acorn caps. Acorns have been used for centuries as a food by the Talawa, the native people of the Smith River. My favorite tree, the Pacific Madrone, has beautiful peeling bark and glossy foliage, making it unmistakable. California laurel has a distinctive pungent odor. It is related to the tree which produces bay leaves, which I use in cooking. Another pleasing aroma comes from the variety of cedar species found within the Smith River NRA. One variety is the graceful-looking Port Orford cedar, whose existence is being impacted by a root disease, which is transported through mud or water. If you travel during the wet season, which is usually November through May on trails or back roads, please learn and practice ways to reduce the spread of this disease. The forest floor is teeming with wonderful plant life of all kinds. Lush carpets of bright green moss coat the rocks in the darker, damper areas. Feathery ferns abound. Their young fiddleheads gracefully unroll and reach for the sky. 
There are a kaleidoscope of colorful flowers found throughout the Smith River NRA, especially from March through July. These Darlingtonia, also called pitcher plants, are carnivorous and occur only in boggy areas on serpentine soils. They use highly modified leaves, which act as a pitcher to trap insects. Ensuring the health of threatened, endangered, and sensitive plants, as well as their plant communities, is the task of botanists like myself who work for the USDA Forest Service. Your job is to take only photographs, leave only footprints. Botanical beauty abounds throughout the Smith River. Exceptional plant communities can be experienced in four specially designated botanical areas. Broken Rib, Bear Basin Butte, North Fork Smith River, and Myrtle Creek. For more information, contact the Visitor Information Center for the Smith River National Recreation Area. It's located along Highway 199, near the confluence of the North and Middle Forks. The Smith River National Scenic Byway is a segment of Highway 199 that connects Highway 101 near Crescent City to major Interstate Highway 5. Driving time from San Francisco is only eight hours, and less than that from Portland, six hours. Remember, don't bypass all this botanical beauty. Be in it.